Hello everyone, it's Elisa from Inside the Photo Box. Um, I had been asked if I could do a tutorial on how I do shadows. Um, people were asking about shadows, so what I decided to do was I pulled up an old picture and I already cut it out and I put it inside of a white single template just to show you um, how I do shadows. Now there are several ways and people are going to watch this video and say, well, I don't do shadows that way, I do it another way, and that's totally fine because this is Photoshop and there's probably like a thousand ways to do the same thing all the time. So um, this is just the way that I ended up finding that I do it often. Um, so let's get started. So what I did was I already took this layer of the kids and I already cut it out and I cut out their feet and then I selected their feet already so that's basically where I'm at you could see the, um, the little dotting marching ants the selection is just around their feet and their leg legs and that's basically it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the white template and I'm gonna click it back on because I had shut it off just so you could see and now of course you can see the marching ants again and you can see that the white template is covering their legs. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to um, put a mask because I have it selected already. I'm going to now put a mask onto this white template. So I'm going to click on the mask button, but of course now it is uh, backwards. It masks off everything around it. So I'm going to now click on the mask, press Command I, and I'm going to inverse the uh, the mask so now I have the feet and they are sticking out and they're over the template and they're cut out and now we need to add some shadows to it so what I'm going to do is actually I was doing it already um, I'm just delete this layer because that was my practice okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click and make a new uh, transparent layer and I put it above the white template. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the select and I'm going to reselect and that's going to reselect the people's feet again but this time I don't want my selection. I'm gonna paint some shadows in. Now if I of course if I, I've just selected the feet so look what happens if I paint and I use black and I paint I'm only painting on the inside of their feet, right? So, and of course I can't paint on the outside because that's the selection. That's not what I want. I want the selection to be on the outside. So I'm gonna step backwards and I'm going to go back to select and I'm going to inverse my selection. Now, if I paint, it's on the outside and because it's, on my, because the, uh, the layer is above the white template, it's going to be under their feet. So how do I do this? All right, so what I'm going to do is, it's a little trial and error sometimes, I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to use a soft round. And I'm going to start at about maybe um, opacity of about five. And I'm going to paint some shadows here. All right been pretty good. I'm going to actually make them a little bit darker because you know a shadow is always darker <clears throat> right at the foot or right at the way the limb is and then as it spreads out when you're using soft light as it spreads out it'll spread out thinner. Uh, it'll, it'll get more diffuse. So I'm making them a little darker on the inside. Don't worry I'm not done. The shadows don't look so great yet and I know that. So I'm just putting some shadows in here. Nothing fancy. Just adding a little more darkness to right under the feet. And I want to kind of, you know, when you do your shadows, look at the lighting, look at the other people. So you could see that, uh, actually, you can see that the shadows are kind of falling because the light was, was sort of central. The shadow is falling more on this side than it is on this side, but it is falling in both places. So um, I'm going to just put the shadow in here. Then, while I'm still on this transparent layer 5, I'm going to go up to Filter. I'm going to go down to Blur, Gaussian Blur. And now, what I'm going to do is 
look what happens with the radius. I have the radius at 1.1, it looks about the same. I'm pulling that radius all the way up. That's going to blur and make it even more diffuse. So I think I'm going to stick to about, about here. And it kind of just like blends out your blends out the, the shadows, which is really cool. Press OK. <clears throat> but I'm still not really in love with these shadows. I don't think they're the best. So I could take that layer, layer five, and I could play around with the opacity a little bit. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a mask onto that layer. Oops, I already I still had the marching dots. So hang on, I'm going to go back, I'm stepping back. I'm actually going to press Command D to get rid of my selection. Now I'm going to put a mask on, and I'm going to use a soft brush, a soft black brush, and I'm going to put it at about a two, at, the, at about 20% opacity. So if I'm not sure if you know this, but if you just use the numbers on the top, like one, two, three, four, five, you it'll it'll change the opacity level. So if I push three it pushes my opacity to 30%. If I push five, it goes to 50%. It's kind of a little shortcut. So I'm going to start at 20% opacity, and I'm just going to make sure I'm on the... Eh, it's not really doing that much. I'm just going to sort of just erase them a little bit, but with a soft brush. I'm going to go to the 40% because I don't think that the 20% was really doing that much. And I'm, just going to, and I'm just going to play with this until I think they look natural. And that's really kind of subjective. And probably should have put some shadows under her leg going all the way up. And maybe a little bit more like that. And maybe I would even go back in now using the 40% uh, to make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to press um, reselect. And I think I'm going to put a little tiny bit more darkness right there. Just kind of filling that in just a little bit more. And that's pretty much how I do shadows. Maybe I'll bring it up a little bit further. So her dress a little bit on this side. And then, let's see. Let's see. Press Command D. Let it out. Let's shut the shadows off. Shut them back on. Maybe take the opacity down just even a little drip more. You can play with that. You can take some more of the shadow off. You can move it on. But let's see again. Let's click it on. Click it off. And uh, yeah, I think I would probably take out a little bit more of the shadow right over here. It's a little too heavy. And uh, that's it. That's how I would do a shadow. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And um, have a great day.